Good morning, everybody. I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. We've got some happy girls out here with their treats, and we're gonna do a really quick video on how to deworm your chickens. Good morning, everybody. It's kind of a nasty day in December, so let's get right to it. I have done another video that talks about Ivermectin or Ivermax and why I use it to dewarm my chickens. So this is not gonna talk a lot in detail about like the medication itself and all of that kind of stuff. This is literally for how do I put it on my chicken? Um, Real quickly, remember that Ivermax or Ivermectin, and I'll show you in just a minute, it is not a medication that is technically manufactured for chickens. It is manufactured for large farm animals. We're talking cows, goats, sheep. So if you look online, if you Google, you know, how to dose my chicken with Ivermectin or Ivermax, which is the specific brand, you don't get a lot of like official medical information on the chickens because nobody wants to experiment on their chickens and see the exact dosage. But in the barnyard chicken area, just in our community, we've kind of figured out that for most regular full-size chickens, so we're not talking meat birds, we're talking the Easter eggers, the barred rocks, um, just the regular, the sex links, the, the regular run of the mill production reds, those normal full size chickens. I do between six and eight drops and I'll show you how I actually do it here in a minute. For larger meat birds, uh, like my Wyandotte, who's a hybrid, and then my Java hens, who are also bigger girls, I do between eight and 10 drops. And the way this medication works is it gets, it's called a pour on, as in like you would pour it on. But of course, since we're dealing with such a tiny animal, like Blue, Tick, tick. Since we're dealing with such a tiny animal, we're not really pouring it on like you would pour it on your cattle. We're using a dropper. So this is the Ivermax that I have. I'm not paid or sponsored by anybody. This is just what I truly use. And it has a little dropper like this. And then there's the bottle that you can, um, you know, that you use to, you tilt it. And then I just open that little thing and fill my syringe from right there. Of course, there's the measurement if you were doing, you know, animals that weigh 550 pounds. Um, so what you're gonna do is put this on your chickens in a way that it gets absorbed into the skin. Ivermax or Ivermectin is used to kill internal parasites. This is not, in my experience, um, not necessarily for the things that would live on your chicken, like poultry lice, mites, the things that you can see. Does that make sense? This stuff goes into their bloodstream. It goes into your chicken's bloodstream by being absorbed through the skin, and then it kills internal parasites. So if you've got mites or lice, you could see that video here about that, but this is not necessarily that treatment, okay? This is for, you find worms. You suspect that your chickens have worms. You see worms in the droppings. I've done videos about this before. Or if you're like me, the change of seasons, like now here in South Texas when it's starting to get really cold, or when it starts getting really warm, the change of seasons, or when you integrate new birds, I deworm preventatively means I didn't see any worms, but I'm doing it anyway twice a year. Okay. And when you do this medicine, and I'll show you in just a second how we do it. When you do this medicine, set yourself a reminder. Use the chicken journal, the chicken tenders journal that I'm selling. You can see it down in the comments, the link for it. Because you have to do the initial dose which kills, if, if your chickens were to have worms, it kills the worms that they've got right now, but it doesn't hit every life cycle. Does that make sense? So it wouldn't kill the worm eggs that are in your chicken. And I know that's so gross to think about. What is that, girlies? So then you've got to go back seven to 10 days later and dose them again so that any eggs that were missed the first time around will now get taken care of. Okay, so this is a medication that you're going to want to put. You take a chicken and I'll show you. I have a clip here at the end you can see where you see me physically do it. But the things are that you want it, you need to put it where you can see your chicken's actual skin. Don't put it on the feathers. Most chickens have waterproof feathers, so it's designed to just have the drops roll off of them. I grab my chickens one by one at night when it's super dark and they are asleep. Not right when they're going up to bed, but once they're actually asleep because they get very dumb, very slow. They're just kind of like, what? But they're not struggling or fighting or freaking out. So you just pop them off the roost, you put them down. You need to use your fingers to get all the way down until you see the skin. You can't just put it on the feathers, put it on the skin and then do the dropper in a way that you can see your drops and you can count them. Don't just go squirt, you know, like you need to actually count the drops and then just put the feathers back in their place and then put them back up to bed. So that is how I dose my chickens. All right, so here on <laughs> late night chicken medication, I feel like we're doing some kind of like shady side business. So we've got them at night. This is Gracie, my bard rock. I have the Ivermax here. 
you want to get ideally to where you can actually see the skin. I know there's the glare, but see, I'm actually putting it on her flesh and not on a feather. And then I make sure I can see what I'm doing. So I count three, four, five, six, seven. What I do, okay, she's done. Cause now she can't touch it. She can't mess with it. It's going to get absorbed into the skin and that's it.